Folks, on our AMSOIL monthly fishing report, we're going to head up to Chiguanagan Bay right now to talk to Captain Josh Tigan. I've been fishing with Josh for the last several years, and I consider him a jack of all trades. He catches smallmouth, walleyes, northern pike, muskies. A uh, neat thing about Josh, too, is he not only guides Chiguanagan Bay, he guides all the lakes uh, around Iron River, uh, Wisconsin, all the way down to the Hayward area. Hey, Josh, who's your buddy there? This is my biking mascot, John. Well, you know what? I don't have my Packer mascot with me, and we should tell the folks that uh, you and I have kind of a running conversation about our two teams. Oh, yeah. yeah, We go back and forth, that's for sure. And you still owe me $25. I do at the moment, but we'll see at the end of the year how that works out. All right. Hey, let's switch gears now. You know, uh, fishing, uh, let's talk about... Uh, I guess first, Chiguamagon Bay, uh, you know, that freezes last, and you still got open water out there. And if you can get yep. a boat in, it can be pretty good in, in late November, can it? Oh, yeah, it's terrific if you can get out there. You know, a lot of the landings, you know, can still be open from time to time. Even waves come in and bust the ice up. So if you can get a boat out there, it can be very good. The smallmouth, the walleyes, um, you know, even trout and salmon, too. You know, that, that's great this time of year. What I liked, you know, the times that you and I have done it after Thanksgiving, it's kind of a grab bag out there, you know, fishing the shipping channel or whatever other yep. structure you want. It really is a grab bag. I mean, the times that we've done it, we've caught what in one day? Walleye? Yeah, I mean, we've caught trout, whitefish, walleye, bass. And that's the thing. Once that water gets cold, you know, those trout move in and the salmon move in and they're all mixed in with the bass the pike and the walleye so you never know what you're going to hook into i mean it's a it's a fun time to fish okay what type of baits do you use this time of year um usually you know jerk minnows on a big jig head a lot of times i'll even go half ounce just to get it down quick um cast master is one of my favorite usually three eighths ounce <clears throat> to a half ounce is good deep diving crankbaits you know tubes can work pretty good too um i mean they're aggressive all you gotta do is get that bait down to the bottom and they'll, they'll hit it what type of uh, depth do you look for? Generally, I like to fish a little deeper right now. I mean, usually in that 15 to 25 feet of water, once in a while up to 30, but my favorite is right around that 20-foot mark. Okay, a little bit more on Chiguamagon Bay. Once that gets ice on it, when is that usually, around Christmas or mid-December? Uh, in a normal year, right around Christmas, yep, when we can have good, good safe ice to get out there and chase trout. Oh, so it's trout. That That is a lot of fun. Tell the folks, uh, and you guide for this every day out there yep. on the ice. Uh, the trout fishing, it's all jigging and tip-ups. It's fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a blast. Normally you're fishing, you know, only 10 to 20, 30 feet of water. And a lot of times you can sight fish them. You got, you got brown, splake, steelhead, cohos. I mean, you never know what you're going to hook into. And it's a blast on light rods. Now, is there, can the, can folks, if they were, they're wondering about ice conditions on Chiguamagon Bay, could they call like the Rock River Bait Shop or something like that? Yeah. Yep. Call River Rocket and Bait Shop. You know, they're right in Ashland. They always have up to date reports and uh, they'll kind of tell you what's happening. And if you want to call me and ask me too, that's fine too. Cool. But it's River Rock Bait Shop, Bait Shop and I know they keep tabs on, on everything in your area, right? Yes, they do. They keep track of everything. Yep. All right, moving inland now, you know, you got a lot of fun small lakes to fish up there in the Iron River area. And, yep. uh, you know, I know there there's already some ice, but I, I always tell everybody this time of year, what? Use. Yeah. Use yep. extreme caution. Yep, got to use extreme caution. Yep, have to. And to have safety stuff with you and never go alone. But, yep. uh, you know, you got a ton of little lakes up there. I don't know if you want to name a few, but what type of areas do you look for when you're early ice fishing, do you look for weed edges, weeds, deep water? What's your favorite? You know, most of the time I'm fishing clear water lakes. And what I like to look for is the green weeds that haven't died yet. And if you can find those green weeds, you know, a lot of these clear lakes, the weeds don't die till the middle of winter. So the panfish, the pike, the walleyes, they're in these deep green weeds. And if you find them, you'll catch fish, you know, anywhere from, you know, 5 to 10 feet of water, even out to 15 to 20 feet, if you can find deep cabbage, you know, those fish are going to be in there. And uh, early ice is my favorite. You know, the fish, there's a lot of oxygen in the water, and those fish are usually pretty aggressive. Uh, what species are you after on these smaller lakes up in, in the Iron River area? So generally what I do is we jig for panfish, you know, we jig for crappies, uh, bluegills, perch, and then we'll set out tip-ups for pike, um, walleyes, and sometimes bass, too, you know, that we'll get with them. But mainly we're targeting, you know, walleyes and uh, crappies. Okay, and you're guiding every day for ice? 
Yep, every day. And should mention, too, that uh, folks go out with you. You got the snowmobiles and, and the yep. pop-up tents, and and all folks got to do is bring themselves and, and a fishing license. Yep, all they got to do is bring themselves a fishing license and something to eat, and I have everything else. I have everything you need to get out. All right, you can punch that doll next to you now, okay? He's doing all right here. No, punch him. No, I'm just kidding <laughs> you. Hey, thanks, buddy. I'll see you soon on the ice. Yep, thanks, John. Uh, have a good one.